Welcome back YouTubers, friends, family and people who I have never met. It's been my final week in Girona for the year. I have two and a half thousand meters left to climb in order to hit my million meter goal. I've ticked off my 50 second Everest. I'm in a good place and tomorrow I'm going back to Australia, back to the sun, back to my homeland. It's been three long years since I've been back. In this week's vlog, I'm going to show you what my final week in Girona looked like, what my final Everest looked like. Here's a recap. I hope you guys enjoy. This week has felt like a real drag. It's just been crazy. Monday, I actually had a call early in the morning. So on Sunday night, I got out a bit of a late ride. I got out at 5, 5.30 or something. Did 1,500 meters. Because I knew that on Monday morning, I was going to be rushed. I had a call at 9, or well not 10, had to fit in 1,500 meters, which I did on the Montjuic climb. Great little climb locally. I enjoyed it. But yeah, on my mind, I've had this stress of this week being the final Everest. Like I've I don't want to get injured, I don't want to get sick, I don't want anything to go wrong that's going to derail this year because I feel so close to the edge. Roads are wet and slippery and the one thing I don't want to do today is come a cropper. So I'm descending like a granny, I'm cornering like a granny, my brakes are squealing. I just want to stay upright, I don't want any hazards getting in the way of this finish line. I'm, I'm really ready to be finished. Tuesday was different. I actually had a team filming. Little do you guys know, we've actually been producing a film all throughout the year which should go live in January. So I had the film team here. We got out and did my favorite Canet d'Adri, typically a recovery loop, and the loop that I do before an Everest. So we did that, it was great. Beautiful weather, like so lucky here at the moment. The weather's amazing, it's, it's late December. Yesterday I Everested in a short sleeve jersey, which is just bonkers, but I'll get to that. And then the final Everest on Wednesday. So we drove up to France, an amazing climb, Tour Madeloc, and I've probably butchered that name, Tour de Manioc, Madeloc, Manioc. It's this incredible climb that essentially climbs up to about 620 meters, and the views out over the French coastline are just insane. Super windy to begin with, so it was pretty sketchy, but I knew that this was the last one, and I like, I had all this emotion built up inside, and I knew that yeah, everything I did, I was like, this is the last time I'm actually going to be doing this. 6,700 meters in, I'm in the death zone. And this is my favorite part of the Everest. My body just goes into automatic mode. Music's on. I'm eating my goose. I just drift away into the music. And it becomes like a big flow. I'm not getting any fresher, climb's not getting any easier, but I'm starting to enjoy it even more. 2,000 meters to go. I like it. It was emotional, like I've spent a whole year doing this. And to finally get to that point where I think like, this is the last time I'm gonna do it, I was, it was almost sad. Like I was nostalgic thinking about back to the very beginning of the year when I started this project and yeah. Anyway, wrapped up this amazing day as the sun was setting at the top of the mountain with good friends. Obviously we filmed it. It's gonna feature in the film. It was just an amazing day on the bike. And I cried, I was, yeah, I was a wreck because this has meant so much to me to finally get this far into it and to have that sense of like accomplishment that I'm about to achieve this is just, insane like it hasn't sunk in but it's starting to sink in and it is just insane so yeah i was a mess i was crying i was yeah reminiscing on everything that's happened this year the highs and the lows but we got it done 52 everest in a year hard trap my head around that <laughs> getting emotional <laughs> feel ridiculous but this has been such a fucking long dream <laughs> and i'm almost there Oh, fuck. What a roller coaster. <laughs> Today was the final ride in Girona. It was on Montjuic. I had 3,000 meters to log. I knew that I was going to have company throughout the day. I had 
an amazing turnout. I had people I didn't know arrive on scooters. I had people in cars arrive. I had friends from Girona arrive. I had neighbors arrive. I had friends' mums arrive. It was just a great day out and a great way to, to wrap up my time in Girona for this year. And to, to top things off, my doctor actually popped by with a cake. So I popped into his house afterwards, blew out the candles. Yeah, it was a nice way to, to cap off the day. And yeah, here I am, back in town. I'm showered, I have some packing to do because tomorrow I am off to Australia. And I'm actually gonna get a haircut because this hair is getting a little bit long and fuzzy and I wanna get it tidied up for Mumsy. And by the time you guys see this vlog, I'm actually gonna be back home in Oz. So next week's vlog is, I don't know what it's gonna be about. Maybe it's gonna be about finishing this bastard. Maybe it's going to be about me sitting on the beach. I don't know. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It's been fun recording it. It's been fun looking back at the week that was. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.